Uh, Louis Saint Laurent is the largest icebreaker in the Canadian fleet. Uh, she's powered by five diesel engines which run three uh, electric propulsion motors which drive three shafts, uh, generating about 27 uh, or a little better than 27,000 horsepower. Uh, quite a capable ship, uh, classed as a heavy icebreaker. Uh, she has made it to the North Pole on at least three occasions. But uh, when you look at her size, again, she's the biggest one in the fleet, uh, weighing in fully loaded at about 15,000 tons. When we're looking at a port like uh, St. John's, there's some pretty unique traffic that comes in, whether it's container ships or support to the offshore. Uh, when you see ice move in, it can become pressurized by the wind and sea, can jam it all into the harbour. So what we do is, uh, as the Coast Guards use our icebreakers to help kind of clear a path for the, uh, the ships to come and go as they need to, so we don't delay any economic profitability to the country's supply chains, don't get stalled, and we can keep things moving. So we use the icebreaker almost like a, a snowplow clears the roads. We clear a path in front of the, uh, the commercial ship so they can kind of follow behind us easily, get where they need to go, and help keep things moving. This is uh, some ice that would have come down from the Labrador coast most likely, uh, pushed down, flowed through. So in that long journey you would have seen that it became chewed up. So you'll see there's not a lot of large pans, it's a kind of a soupy mess, but there are some more substantial pieces in here which are a little bit thicker. So it indicates that it came from an area that's uh, pretty difficult ice conditions, but uh, just over the long journey it's uh, gotten beaten to smaller pieces by the waves, the sea conditions. and. Uh, while it's not really large pans of ice, it does have the potential that uh, if the wrong wind conditions happen, it could put some pressure on the ice and make navigation a little bit more difficult for everybody. If a ship is not moving, the ship is not making money. Uh, and the people on the other end are waiting for the goods to be delivered, uh, whether it be uh, you know petroleum products or uh, just general uh, goods that you use every day. Uh, for the most part, everybody is happy to get to their destination. It is dangerous, uh, just about everything we do, uh, in particular when you're working with the, uh, the larger ships and trying to do ice breaking, uh, whether you're breaking out a ship or again, or coming into a small harbor and trying to do a harbor breakout, uh, it is very dangerous work and it's, it's always in the back of your mind.